the skinning results um, is quite good considering there's no vertex weighting. This is right out of the box. We have good um, mouth movement. There's uh, no um, uh, diffam uh, wild deformation of, uh, of vertices and the lip corners move quite well. And uh, the one thing to notice, uh, like the lip movements here, controlling these controls. These controls actually are rotating as well as moving up and down. So we're getting a curling effect. This can be all uh, changed uh, by using the left modifier. If you press on one of the controls here, you'll see uh, the corresponding one glows yellow. And we can change the parameters there. So we can either uh, zero it out, we can make it, we can reverse the direction and we can make it twist to make it rotate more which is I think what we're doing here as you hover over that control you'll see it changes um, from a translation to rotation and um, there it is, it, it's hard to see this resolution but um, what we're doing is actually changing the rotation so it's rotating more for those uh, lower lip or orbicular lowers and we're just checking the movement here and see what uh, changes need to be made the thing about the rig it, it, it's uh, totally adaptable and uh, you can change all these values all those relationships and connections between the master sliders the master sliders control the smaller controls however the lip corners control the masters as well so uh, I think the lip corners control um, one um, uh, master each or two masters and the jaw control at the bottom controls masters as well now notice as well as you the neck um, the Adam's apple moves out because the uh, control moves in the Z direction when the jaw control moves in the Y direction which is something you can do with uh, several ways you can use the connector the rig vader connector or you can just uh, what we've done here is is just uh, use the software to do it for us so we don't even have to do um, that that's checking the deformation now uh, if you want to change the envelopes uh, do it at this stage I myself uh, like to retain uh, the envelopes as long as possible and not do any vertex weighting at all until the last moment because you might have a, a lower resolution, a higher resolution uh, rig um, under this one on another layer and uh, if, the, if the skinning's good you can just transfer all the skinning to the, that other mesh. Uh, but I find I don't need a lot of ver vertex weighting and in this case don't need any vertex weighting. Now you have all these uh, control objects which can also be placed on a pose bar which I call the gold bar. So we're linking those to the pose bar mouth and as you'll see on the modifier over here again we have we can set poses we can create new poses we create sliders which move you in and out of various poses. In this case or this resolution I don't know if you can uh, read it but um, we've named this one will move it in, uh, I think, call it a purse, and combine it with an O. I apologise for <laughs> the lack of interesting animation, uh, but we're just looking at the... Uh, there's a lot of features to the Rig Vader, and um, I'm only giving you the main ones at the moment, and it's a bit of a rust job, but uh, you'll get the idea. Here we have two sliders which uh, we've generated. Um, uh, I can't read that, but you get the idea as you move it. All those controls move at the same time because uh, they're uh, instanced. And we can set another pose here with a lip curl, bottom and top lip curl. And uh, we'll just select it from that navigating bar. Instantly, we create a new, a new pose. Now we've got uh, two. We've refreshed the sliders, so we've got three sliders, and now we can combine these uh, to our heart's content. We reset it first, uh, and then, uh, by the way, if you uh, select those controls and go to the dope sheet, we uh, automatically get all the controls, so you can start 
changing timing and animation curves and they're all grouped there for you. Uh, otherwise you'd have to sort through literally hundreds of controls. So that's quite useful. So we can reset, uh, we can uh, change the curves, we can create poses, create combinations of poses and start animating straight away. And um, now you, you have it, it's moving in and out of that pose. And uh, what we're doing here, I think we're going to create a combination of those poses by going to the pose bar and simply naming it and uh, adding it to the poses. Uh, so now we have three. Okay. And that's moving in and out of that new pose. In the end, we create, uh, well, we can divide the face into three parts, the eyebrows, the mouth, and the uh, mid-range, the nose, and set poses on that. Uh, or you can create as many uh, sections of the face as you like and create as many poses as you like on that. Or you can go directly to the controls within the uh, pose bars and animate them or put um, keys on them. Or you can indeed motion capture. The Rig Vader comes with a motion capture. You can capture your hand movements and keyframe them. Or you can uh, use FPX.